Hey everybody, welcome back to another Digital Making at Home bonus features video from the Raspberry Pi Foundation, I'm Mr. C. And today I'm here to do an extension with you on the flower generator project. So that's part of our Make Some Art theme. If you haven't done the original video yet, head back across to rpf.io slash home and have a look at the flower generator video that I did with my partner in crime, Zach. So what we did there was we did some scratch code that would make a bunch of random flowers in random colors appear up on the workspace, uh, just like lots of them one after the other so you can make some really cool psychedelic style art. And this video here is going to add a few different types of flowers to your resume so that what you can do is when you click go, it won't just make the same sort of rounded petal flowers like we have in that video, it's gonna make a bunch of different shaped flowers that look all kind of weird and cool. Uh, and so I'll do another bonus features video for in a little while that add a bit more definition, a bit more interesting parts to your flowers just so you can make some cool stuff and we'll do some geometric patterns with them and stuff like that. So this one here, we're going to head across to my scratch now. So you can see the project here that Zach did before uh, and we've got a when the F key is pressed it will make all of my flowers. So let's push R to clear my screen. You can see there's my sprite right now. I'm going to just push F and I get a whole bunch of random flowers appear on my screen. It looks really cool. And so what I want to do now is I'm going to go and make a few different kinds of flowers. So in order to show you what's going on, I'm going to edit that block and I'm going to get run without screen refresh to go away. Because what that does is it slows down the drawing of my pictures. It refreshes the screen every time I get a new sprite. And what it does there is it just slows down so you can see the drawings happening. So I just push F and you can see there as it draws the flowers out one at a time just to slow them down a little bit and you can see as they get made. So what I'm going to do now is this one's really, really easy. So there'll be a nice short bonus feature this one. We're just going to head across to costumes. And here's our simple petal costume that we had before. But what we want to do is we want to take that and add a few new cool ones. So we hover over this little face here and we go up to the paint to make a new costume. And so what I want to do is I'm going to grab a different color. doesn't really matter. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to make a shape, which will be a square. And I want my outline to be the same as my fill. So 3485 100. So I'm going to 3485 100 and that will be the same. And then so now what I've got is I'm going to draw a nice little square and the center of it again I'm going to make sure the center of my very narrow rectangle shows up on that target at the bottom there. Okay so once I've drawn that I'm just going to take my mover I'm going to move it across a little bit, just make sure that's nice and central. And so now what that's going to do is instead of having the same rounded petal flowers, I can tell it to change costume and make me some straight line petal flowers. So let's have a look at that and see how we do. So we're going to come across here and we're going to say repeat 40 and we're going to have it go looks and we're going to say next costume. Okay, and then after that one, we're going to have it draw next costume. So what's going to do is I'm going to draw a flower with round petals, then I'm going to draw a flower with straight petals and round petals and straight petals and round petals and straight petals. It's going to change every time. So if we click our F key to make it draw, so I'm going to get one with the nice straight lines and then one with the round lines, straight lines, round lines. Okay, cool. We're starting to get some of those. So now they're pretty interesting, but what I might do with it is instead of that, I'm going to take my outline and I'm going to make it black and I'll show you how that makes a difference. So if we go like that, and then I change that up a little. Oh, hang on a second, I need to make sure I've got my rectangle selected. So I'll select my rectangle, come back to square, and, and then I choose my outline to be black, brightness zero. Why is that not doing what I want it to do? So I select, ah, here we go. Brightness zero, there we go, that's how we do it. So use the select tool, select your shape, choose you want it to be outlined black, so saturation zero, and we'll just make it nice and thin. Let's make it two. So when I click away, you see it's got a nice black outline. And what that does is it defines the petals in my flower so that when I press F, it starts to draw those petals and I can see them as individual petals in my flower. Okay, so with our straight one, they go pinwheel. And the reason we're getting these pinwheel shapes is because Zach's code has got so many petals in it, right? So you can see here, he's choosing between three and 100 petals. If I make that a little smaller, let's say 20 petals at maximum, and then I click F, and I'll stop it and click F, you see I get them nice and spread out again. So the higher the number of petals you have, the closer together they'll be squished, and they'll just start to look like circles. All right, cool. So let's make them a little bit bigger. Let's go for, what have we got, 360, let's call it 12. No, let's make it 24, double that. And this one here, I'll do the same, I'll make it 24. So when I press F, cool, we're starting to get a good variation of flowers without them being too squished together. Well, there's a nice three one there, that's pretty cool. Awesome, so we've got the straight petals and we've got the round petals. So what we can do now is we can go to our costumes again and we can add a new costume, let's add a different costume. What we'll add is an 
empty square this time. So I'm going to go for my square, I'm going to have it filled with nothing, and I'm going to have the outline be some crazy colour. Let's just go for red for now, that's totally fine. And I want my outline to be a little thicker than that, let's go for five. So I'm going to draw my square, and I'm going to make sure that, grabbing my selector, that the centre of it is there. And remember we can come back and turn it later if we want, so we could turn it on its angle. So we'll select it, grab this little turn shape and we'll turn it so that it's Okay, and here's a trick for you. If you hold shift while you turn, it will snap, right, to 45 degree angle shifts, which is really nice. So we can do that, make sure that the point is centered on there. Okay, cool. And now we're going to draw a bunch of different costumes. So let's go back to our code, and we can go F. All right, we start getting round ones, we start getting cool square ones. Oh, that's got four petals, that came out weird. Two fours in a row. All right, we're starting to get some really cool pictures being drawn here. All right, we can do those. We can go back to our costumes. We can even add, let's go paint, let's add a text costume. And we're going to click here. And we're going to make my text say, what should we make it say? Uh, I don't know. All right, so currently my text is filled with nothing, so I need to make sure it's got a color. And aqua seems to be a totally fine color. That's cool. It doesn't really matter because it's going to change the color effect every time you do it anyway. And then what we'll do is we'll get rid of that. So I've got my flowers costume. I'm going to make sure that it's touching the center of that, right? Or we might even be able to move it out a little bit. We can put the bottom of the F on it even. Let's see that. That should look cool. And then when I go back to my code, or I can just put F from here, and you'll see it will start to draw up change costume. And I get one with the word flowers in it, right? So it's going to paint me some flowers costumes every so often. All right, that's pretty cool. I want to make sure that I've got this selected. I'm going to change my outline again to black. And I'm going to have it as a one outline, a nice thin outline. And then when I press F again, I should be able to stop the code running. Press F, and I'll start getting my flowers words with that black outline just to define them a little bit more nicely. Awesome. Okay, so you can see it drawing all those shapes. But again, I can go back to my code, and I can make it just slam up my pictures when they're done. So I go here, I say edit. I choose run without screen refresh, and then it just throws up all my flowers. Right, I push F again, here they come, lots and lots of flowers. Lots and lots and lots of flowers. Cool. So that's how you can make different shaped flowers, everybody. Right. Let's add a little bit extra to it. So what I'm going to do is we've got two flowers that go. What we can do is let's take this code and duplicate it, and I'm going to pop it here. Now this one's going to have... Well, actually, we can duplicate the whole thing. Let's dupe the whole thing, because I need that top block as well. It's going to choose a different color. So let's go for... Uh, well, it doesn't really matter, does it? So let's go for A. So we're going to have A, and instead of having it go to a random position both times, I'm going to pull out this random position here, and I'm going to drag that in there, and I'm going to, instead of asking it, so we've like petals and size and things like that, so color, size, petals, color, size, actually, let's clean up my block so you can see, that's better. So here's my A, and with our draw flower, we've got color, size, and petals. Now, I don't want my size to be random, or if I do, I want one to be big, the first one to be big, and the inside one to be small. So it will draw petals on the outside and small petals on the inside. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to say my minimum range for this one for size will be, let's say, 60 to 124. That's fine. And then this one, the upper limit, will be 50, right? So I'll always have something in between, and this one I might just make it 5 so we get something nice and small. So now it's going to draw my first flower, and its size will have to be bigger than 60, and my second flower will be in exactly the same place, but its size will be less than 50. So we should start to see some really interesting flower patterns when I push A. Okay, and you can see here it's drawing flowers with different flowers on the inside. What we can even do there is let's remove that next costume so that we have them always be the same, and then we push A again. And you can see we start to get these really interesting like duplicate flower patterns, right? So we've got one here that's got petals with petals. We've got straight lines with straight lines. We've got different colors all overlapping. Let's try again. Awesome. Okay, and you can see because my flowers are slightly smaller now, and they're drawing in the same place over the top of one another, I'm getting half as many flowers really, but they're multiple colors. So let's use the original and see the difference. So here's our F key and we get the singular flowers and they're put all over the screen. When I push A, we get those double color flowers with like a central color ring that's different, right? And they're really cool. So that's something a little bit different we can do. Two separate functions, one for random psychedelic wallpaper, one for interesting flowers. Uh, what we'll do is let's make that go up a bit so we can go up to 60, because we're not waiting for it to draw. So we get really nice psychedelic wallpaper that fills in the whole screen. And then A, we'll do the same thing, we'll pump it up. 
Cool, and we get those duplicate flowers with the central colouring that's different. All right, nice. Cool. So that's how you do a different function, everybody, and that's how you sort of make different looking flowers on your screen. Uh, I'll be back again with another bonus feature that will show you how to make sort of like a pattern of flowers, right? So we'll have a different color backdrop and we'll throw different colored flowers on top in certain spacings and stuff to make them look nice and regimented, which is often quite pleasing for some people aesthetically. So keep making cool stuff, everybody. Log in with us at rpf.io slash home. Share your awesome flower wallpapers with us. Remember, you can save your picture by right clicking on it here and saying save image as. And you can save that picture as a PNG. Uh, and so keep making awesome things, guys. We really love to see it. We love when our community gets involved uh, and send them to us at rpf.io slash home. Remember that we love to see all of those things that you can send into us. So I'll see you again in another bonus features video after this one. Uh, and I'll see you next week on the live stream at Wednesday, 2 p.m. British Standard Time. Come watch us. We do live code with people. We throw questions out to the audience. You can throw suggestions back at us. Uh, we'd love to see you there. I'll catch you later, everybody. Bye.